it's nothing more than that. So just a matter of uh, repetition and execution, and we'll be all right. If Josh Norman was looking to get into something today, you weren't having any of it. What was your approach? I don't, I don't got nothing to do with that. Um, we're in the playoffs. Damn, he the mess. We're in the playoffs. I'm not. That's not something I concern myself about. Uh Roll up, hop out the car, and squeeze the trigger. I can hear the purple calling. I can hear the perkins calling. I can hear the purple calling. I can hear the zanies calling. Is it, is it true that, that in round three, Josh is the one who received most of the blame from officials as he drew two personal fouls against Beckham. Their encounters on Sunday went from spicy to muy caliente real quick. Norman's first flag came in the second quarter when Odell caught a quick pass for an eight yard gain and was shoved out of bounds by Josh. That flag was pulled for unnecessary roughness. Yeah, I'd say so. The second flag came in the third when Odell engaged Josh in a block on a running play and Josh then headbutted him and was flagged for unsportsmanlike conduct. Take what we learned from this year and try to capitalize on the next year. Um, the things what to do and what not to do and um, try to get this thing going. The Giants ended all hopes of the Redskins going to the playoffs with this win. And Giants fans infiltrated the Redskins stadium to watch it happen. No, seriously, I think I see more Giants fans at Washington's home game than actual Redskins fans. It's a shame. This guy. Bumping to me like, what's up? Where I'm from, we in Lip. I love clips, so pretty much whatever you wanna do. Um, that's it, man. If you wanna do whatever you wanna do, do it in the game. But don't don't come for me afterwards. Don't don't do that. That's that's overboard. That's overkill. Especially when you're not even like that. But whatever. This is the first game in three games that does, didn't have a touchdown. What did you do to exactly cover? like? But I'm trash and he beat me all day. I just don't get it. <laughs> I don't understand. Like, but like I said, if that boosts his ego or feed him to fuel whatever kind of thing he got in his head, <laughs> so be it. But play the guy three times already and my numbers speak for themselves. He can go and cry and holler, hoop, whatever you want to, man. At the end of the day, like I said, zero touchdowns. Is it, is it true that, that Josh Norman, you old crying ass, bitch ass faggot. Always whining to the fucking referees. Nigga, you don't sit there and, and fucking try to disguise your fucking self in front of everybody. Like you're trying, you're trying to build this image for your fucking self. Nigga, fuck Josh Norman. Nigga, the first two fucking years you was in the fucking league, nobody was giving a fuck about no fucking Josh Norman or the Carolina Panthers. Nigga, you sitting behind fucking Captain Munnerlyn and fucking Chris Gamble. But you had one good year, your third year. Get you your four interceptions and whatever and get you an interception for a touchdown or whatever the fuck the case is. You take your ass to the Pro Bowl. Everything was, was fucking blown up. Because the fucking Panthers went 15 and 1 during the fucking regular season. You'll try to pull some bullshit and pull some rank on Carolina now, like the reason why their defense wasn't that great this year because you was gone. No, nigga. It was because Luke Keekley was hurt. Everybody knows that. You know the reason why a team that went to the Super Bowl with you would allow for you to leave the very next year when you had a Pro Bowl year? It's because you wasn't worth the money that you was asking for. Of course you always find some fucking idiot that go out there and fucking pay you. But welcome to the Redskins. Look what you got this year, nigga. 
You ain't even make it to the fucking Pro Bowl, nigga. Fuck. My motherfucking safety had a better fucking year than you. In his second year as a pro. Better year than you had than you ever had. My motherfucking second cornerback at DRC had a better fucking year than you did. Welcome to the NFC East. See what you did was you always try to make everything like like you a shutdown corner. You try to make everything about matchups. We go back to last year. You want to talk about Julio Jones and how many yards he had. You want to talk about how many yards everybody has. But you won't bring up the fact that you got your ass fried this year by Terrell Pryor. We all seen that. You won't bring up the fact that you're complaining to the fucking referees all the fucking time. Everybody watch the game where you motherfuckers play Cincinnati and London. I think your motherfucking ass got five motherfucking holding calls on you. So you're out there practicing. You practicing in Redskins practice how to be savvy enough to get away with holding a receiver at the top of his route. You know, when you was with the Carolina Panthers, of course, granted, a lot of people in the NFC East and people around around this area, especially in here, Virginia, we don't get to see Carolina play that much. But the NFC East with the Cowboys, the Redskins, and the Eagles, I get to see plenty. So we got to see plenty of you this year. Nigga, all this fucking holding you doing. Every time you was in the game against Dez, every time I turn around, Dez looking at the ref, grabbing at his fucking uh, the nigga holding. And I'm looking right at it while you yapping in the nigga ear, looking at the replay. Nigga, you hold. Stop holding at the top of the fucking route. Fuck is going on? Then you want to try to build your brand. You want to come on TV now. Now all of a sudden you're an analyst during the off season. You want to talk shit about other players that's in the playoffs that really didn't even want to get into nothing with you. Odell and Ari came out and said he ain't want to get into nothing back and forth with you. The shit was over. But the reason why you came to the NFC East was to try to make yourself more relevant. And like Odell said, piggyback off the nigga and you still talking shit. When we went to the playoffs and granted we lost, we didn't do nothing. Granted we lost, that's cool. But now, you wasn't the first two years in your career. Now, all of a sudden, you 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 doing analytics and, and being an analyst on uh, these TV shows with your little uh, uh, fucking personality glasses on and shit, sitting there talking that bullshit. When you know goddamn well you can't guard no fucking body, dude. So cut the shit out. Fucking Deshaun Jackson and Garcon burnt your ass up in Redskins practice. Like, all you do is try to scheme. Nigga, everybody knows your shit now. You sit there and try to get in the nigga head, but if they don't let you get in their head, you know what I'm saying? You're done. You sat there and snitched on Dez. Dez come back at you and say something to you to make you sit there and fucking start whining and pissing and out your fucking vagina and you go and snitch to the media, nigga. Go snitch to the media about what the man said personally to you in the game. Out of all the shit that I'm pretty sure your motherfucking ass yapping say. Nigga, child, shut that bullshit up. You a bitch. And fuck HTTR. Y'all motherfuckers go get used to this shit. You already know. I'm gone.